Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x minus 1 to the power of 4 equals to 5 to the power of 4. And we solve this problem for the values of x. So here you see that uh, this is the fourth order equation. It means that this equation has four roots. So here in this problem, we will find all the four roots of this equation. So here the very first step we are going to do is first we rewrite this equation as in this form. So we write it as x minus 1 whole square and its whole power 2. We break this exponent 4 and we write this in this form. And it is equal to this is 5 to the power of 4 and we write it as 5 square and its whole square. And now in the next step we need to move this 5 square and its whole square from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x minus 1 whole square and its whole square minus this will be written as 5 square and its whole square and this equals to 0. And now in the next step here we need to use the nice algebraic formula you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equal to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to this formula, you see here, uh, this is our a, x minus 1 whole square is our a and 5 square is our b. So that we will apply here this nice formula. So according to this formula, we write our above equation as in this form, x minus 1 whole square minus 5 square into uh, x minus 1 whole square plus 5 square and this whole equals to 0. Okay, so here uh, in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases so that our first case is to write x minus 1 whole square minus 5 square equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 1 whole square plus 5 square equals to 0. So first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now here we need to solve these two simultaneous equations and uh, we can easily get the four roots of the given equation. So here first we need to focus on equation number 1. And in equation number 1, we will apply here this nice square formula. You know that if we have a minus b whole square, it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square. So here again, our a is x minus 1 and our b is 5 only. So uh, here we will apply this nice formula so that our equation number 1 uh, is written as in this form. So uh, here we can apply this nice formula and it will be written as, uh, so here our a is x and our b is 1, okay. So we write it as x square minus 2 times of x into 1 plus 1 square and this is minus 5 square equals to plus 25 and this is equals to 0. And now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we write it as x square minus 2x this is 1 square equals to 1 and 1 minus 25 equals to minus 24 and this whole equation equals to 0. Uh, and now uh, in the next step uh, here we you see that this is the quadratic equation in x variable so that here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 2 and c is equals to minus 24 and we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to substitute the above values of a b and c here so the value of b is minus 2 so this minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 2 and minus 2 square becomes 4 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 24 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1. 
and now in the next step here we need some simplifications and it will be written as x equals to 2 plus minus square root of 4 this is minus times of minus becomes plus and 4 times of 24 equals to 96 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 so further in the next step we have x is equals to 2 plus minus 94 96 plus 4 equals to 100 and it is divided by 2 and here you see that the square root of 100 equals to 10 and we write it as 2 plus minus 10 divided by 2 so we get the values of x are here we can we write this into two cases so the first case is we write the positive value 2 plus 10 over 2 and here we write the negative value it is 2 minus 10 over 2 so here you get x equals to 12 over 2 and here we get x equals to minus 8 over 2 so here we need to cancel the terms and you see that this is 2 6 is a 12 and we get x equals to 6 here 2 4 is a 8 and we get x equals to minus 4 so here you get the two uh, values of uh, x from the first case and now here we need to move uh, uh, to the second case uh, so that our second case is we uh, can copy down the query number 2 here it is x minus 1 whole square plus 5 square equals to 0 so here we need to uh, again expand this square identity and we write it as x square minus 2 times of uh, x into 1 and plus 1 square this is 5 square equals to 25 and this whole equals to 0 and now in the next step we have this is x square minus 2x and 1 square equals to 1 1 plus 25 equals to 26 and this whole equals to 0 so again this will becomes quadratic in x variable so that here again we can apply the quadratic formula now we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals 1 b minus 2 and c 26 and quadratic formula is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a this is our quadratic formula so here we again put the values of a b and c here this is minus b the value of b is minus 2 minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus b square b is minus 2 and minus 2 square is 4 and this is uh, minus uh, 4 times of a and c so uh, here you have 4 multiplied by 26 and it is divided by 2 so here when you multiply uh, 4 times of 26 it will be written as 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus this is 104 divided by 2 okay 4 times 26 becomes 104 so here we write it as 2 plus minus this will be written as minus 100 and it is divided by 2 so we write this minus 100 as 2 plus minus square root of 100 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so here you see that our x is equals to 2 plus minus we know that the square root of 100 is 10 and square root of minus 1 is iota and now we break this fraction so we divide these two terms by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by these 2 and 2 5 is 10 so finally we have the other two uh, roots of the given equation are 1 plus minus 5 iota and these two roots are the complex roots and uh, our first uh, two roots are the real root okay so the first roots is x equals to 6 and minus 4 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos